This morning was a, an amazing exercise. Probably the most technical, most difficult, awkward case I've seen. It was a phenomenal feat to be able to treat um, Chimoko, this black rhino bull, this young um, sub-adult male. So the concern was if we can't treat him successfully and we have to end up euthanizing or he ends up losing condition and dying, we're going to lose a prime breeder. Black rhino being critically endangered, we can't afford to lose one. One of our call signs, one of our, our rhino monitoring teams discovered early August in our start of the rhino ops that he, had, he was dropping blood, there was blood on his tracks. When the guys got to have a good look they noticed that he had a, a snare injury and likely a snare embedded and we couldn't actually get the snare out and the only way around it was to, to actually try and get an x-ray machine in to be able to x-ray it. From the start, we've, we've, the emotions have been quite high. Today they found him quite early. And when we put the dart in from the chopper, we could immediately see that you know, he was favoring it as he had been. Yeah, in this case, it wasn't too challenging. It was a fairly easy area to work. There were a few tall trees here and there, which made it difficult to dart initially. There were a number of roads that we could sort of work onto. One of the challenges we did have was that uh, it's quite a hilly area. And once, once the, the animal started to show some effect from the dart, he actually started to run sort of downhill. It was quite a, a difficult case because he ended up in a very, very difficult situation where he finally went down. He wedged himself into, some, into an old dead tree that was, had fallen down on a riverbank. And uh, when he did that, he just got himself properly, properly caught up under that nigrescence. Sort of worst case scenario, he went into, so that made it more challenging. Yeah, we just had to get the chainsaw in as quickly as possible and start cutting him out of it. Got down on the ground from the chopper, we went in, started chainsawing. It was an amazing team effort. Everyone came in, members of the team. And then, yeah, we were able to start, start working on him. We managed to get him down nicely into a nice position. And then uh, the the vets came in and started to do what they needed to do. Once he was in a good position, took, took the first x-ray, confirmed there was definitely a thick wire snare in there. A heavy wire snare embedded in the leg and actually starting to embed into the bone of this rhino. So we knew it was going to be a daunting task from the beginning to actually get this wire out without maiming this rhino for life. We took a second x-ray to try and orient where the knot was and then we started cutting down to the, where we thought it was. Um, we were a little bit caudal to where it was, but we got onto the wire and discovered that it was a three-strand wire. Um, managed to cut through the strands, and then we, we put a clamp on one of the strands, took another x-ray to see how far we were from the knot. It was a little bit more um, forward. So we cut down to that position and found the knot. It got to a point where there were kind of mixed feelings of whether to close it up and leave it because the last remaining, the main piece of wire would, was obstinate, wouldn't come out. And yeah, there was a, a moment of silence, there was a lull. Everyone was kind of, if we close this up, it's like the last effort. Is it going to heal or isn't it? And then Josh and, and Dave gave it a, you know, a last hard tug. Guys held the leg and bang, that whole piece of wire came out. Oh, wow! Oh, my word! Well done, guys. That was a phenomenal finish to a case that was looking a bit grim. Took a final x-ray, no wire left. And it was just an amazing feeling, um, you know, an, a relief to know that we had got it out because straight away, it's, we know the future of that rhino is, is now looking good again. When he got up after this, this op, after we got the snare out, he actually, he walked off initially quite calmly. He got out of the riverbed and then, and then he ran or sort of trotted off. And he, he didn't have that, that same limp. He was moving noticeably better already. You could see the relief in the way he was moving. There was obviously just better blood flow. Um, it, it already changed the dynamics within in the foot, having got that nasty 
uh, three strand wire out. So just a really successful, fantastic operation. Um, and yeah, so, you know, as Rhino Force, proud to be on the front line. I feel honored to have been part of this operation today. Thank you.